Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another episode of No Train, No Gain. Now, unfortunately, uh, this week was kind of just one of those weeks where I didn't have as much time to freestyle as I would like. Uh, this was, you know, mainly due to just like not having the time due to university shows or whatever. Um, so I had to leave it as late as Saturday to try and cram in a session for this series. But I wasn't disappointed with it by any means. This um, episode is, uh, let me think, it's probably about 60% lowers, 40% uppers. But, you know, decent stuff. So because I hadn't been freestyling as much as I would have liked to this week, um, I think it's it's kind of in the back of my mind and I kind of without sounding too negative going into it uh, I think there's a small part of me that expects the stamina and touch to be not to its full potential um, so I tend to take um, a lot longer with usual with the whole warming up process to be honest I would like to do kind of like short but powerful stuff um, at first and then work my way into whatever I want and as you would have seen there, three lemons. Um, that's still my record actually for lemons for both inside and outside. And I'm really pleased with how easily I can uh, stick that weak alt homie Tuzani on the end of combos for me after doing it um, after both uh, an inside lemons and an outside lemons there, which is quite nice. And um, yeah, similarly here, um, just kind of was trying to pick a couple tricks and just kind of start the combo with them and then end the combo with them. And then here, uh, Alt Magellan to start off this combo. And this is where things start to pick up in tempo a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, it's still the case that I haven't done two of them in a combo. That was a really wild attempt at getting the second one in there. Probably didn't have any right to go for that one, to be fair. And then an alternative reverse Magellan there as well, as I haven't done that trick in ages. But then, after moving spots to the other side of the room, and if anyone's wondering why I do that, by the way, it's so that I can plug in my GoPro to keep it on charge. Uh, it's not like it's not like I just get really paranoid about the spot I'm freestyling on or anything. But since I moved here, even though the combos were kind of... Uh, they had glimpses of hope about them. Generally, the trend from here on in, after about an hour and a half, was that uh, I just couldn't really finish them for Toffee, to be honest. Um, and it's a shame because ones like this, they start off nicely, reverse pallet trick, outside lemons, normal pallet trick, and then dropping it on the easy stuff. And of course, no session would be complete without my heart going in my mouth uh, when I think I smashed my GoPro. Um, one positive from this part of the lowers is that reverse pallet trick, a trick that I hadn't done in a very, very long time, um, was beginning to suddenly, like overnight look, in my opinion, a lot better. So yeah, this combo here I posted on Instagram yesterday, and although it's nothing amazing, uh, it was just kind of nice to end on a high really before I moved on to the uppers. So with the uppers, um, generally I've been quite satisfied with my progress on my uppers of late actually. Been mostly about paying attention to the little things, and uh, in this kind of session here, you'll see trying to think what the main focus was really the main focus really was I guess trying to get some cleaner rollers because um, it still baffles me how even though I do watch like my clips back quite a lot when making this kind of stuff I'm still not getting a clearer idea of like what it is that I need to do or what it is that I'm not doing that leads to some of my rollers being clean and some of my rollers not being clean and that's quite an evident use of the shoulder and in these clips here, you will see a mixture of the two. Another thing I was focusing on with my uppers was um, this transition where you got the ball from the back of your head and then you roll it round onto my strong ear, like my right ear, if that makes sense. So I said a few episodes ago, I didn't, I wasn't really happy with just trying to continue the combos by, once you got it in back head stall, I was like, I need to come up with a way in which to get it out of there wasn't really happy with just flicking it up and shouldering it or anything I wanted to kind of keep it in perpetual motion and uh, you'll see for example this combo here starts off quite nice there 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 starts off quite nicely with some cleaner rollers and unfortunately I do drop it a couple of times there but um, like I said when I drop these upper combos I tend to try and just get try and get straight back into them however with that shoulder touch there <laughs> the ball genuinely hit me in the eye and I had to stop because my eyes were watering for ages then I had a go at this, just a little bit of fun. I don't know if anyone's ever, ever like tried it properly before, but true shoulder stall can honestly say, what the hell? How do people do this? It's it's ridiculous. And it's not like your shin, like shin stall or, or part of the body that doesn't really change. I feel like 
I feel like you, the tip of your shoulder could be really different one day compared to another. If that makes sense. But gave it a couple good goes here and I uh, was starting to kind of get a feel for it. But um, yeah, bloody hard trick, I'm not going to lie. And then to finish off, um, I set myself uh, this combo here, which I spent a lot of time on actually. And that was probably one of the best attempts there. Um, so it's basically trying to do one of those kind of like half roller and ending it on the back head and then coming out with that transition I was explaining earlier and then going back to it and doing it again. That was what I was working on and unfortunately dropped it there on a really easy bit I thought. But uh, yeah, nonetheless pretty happy with uh, the progress on that front and uh, it was a good session especially with competitions and stuff coming up and you start paying attention to these sorts of things. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode anyway and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.